How has your time at Disturbed changed your drumming? I think uh, um, I would like to think that my drumming's improved over the years. I, I think it's just a natural progression from playing, you know, every other night on stage, you know, for, for 10 years. Uh, you know, you do hundreds of shows. I think you can't help but, but improve. Um, I think it's uh, my syncopation has improved, um, power, speed. I think just in general, uh, just as a musician, musicianship has improved. So do you ever feel humbled or threatened by other players that you happen to tour with? I feel humbled just about every night I go out there, especially at the beginning of a new tour. Um, I, I can't say ever, I ever feel threatened. I, I always feel confident in my abilities and my playing. And I don't, uh, I don't mean to sound cocky, but I don't think there's another drummer on the face of the planet that could do a, as good of a job as I do in Disturbed. I think that I'm, that I'm the guy for Disturbed. I'm a Disturbed drummer. But when you take me out of that element, then I, I don't necessarily feel comfortable. I like playing with, with the guys in my band. I've been, we've been playing together for so long. It's, there's a sense of, a sense of, uh, of comfort, comfortability there. But, uh, you know, as far as being humbled by other guys, I mean, there's always something you can learn from other players, whether it's uh, uh, an opening act uh, that's playing with, uh, before us or whether we're on some big festival over in Europe and, and we're opening for some other act. I mean, it, it doesn't matter what the level of, of band is. There's always something that I can take away from, from these guys. I mean, there's oh, so many different players and so many different styles. It, uh, I like to think of myself as a... a, a, a full-time student, always. Which we all should be. Uh, many players are, are confident, like yourself, about your, your own playing, and that generally goes to a certain point. In a word or two only, what are you most confident about with your playing? Then I'll ask you what you're most insecure about with your playing. And then what do you wish you could do much, much better with your playing? So let's start with what are you most confident with? I'm most confident in definitely my interaction between myself and my other bandmates. I think um, I'm not, when you take me away from that element, I'm not the kind of guy who likes to sit in a, drum, in a, in a room behind the drums by myself and play for hours and hours. I'll do it because it needs to be done and I need to rehearse, but I don't enjoy that as much as I do interacting and playing with other musicians. To me, that, that chemistry, that magic that happens when uh, you know, musicians play together you know, between the, the drums and the bass and the guitar, that there's nothing that can you know, replace that for me. So um, as far as the confidence in that, that's my, my, my confidence is, is being in my band. The, being part of the group. Absolutely. Take me out of that element, then, then I definitely I feel, I feel, uh, uh, so I feel naked. So would, would the latter point be the, the point at which you're most insecure, or is there something technically you feel insecure about your playing, or...? I would yeah. also say... Go ahead. So, sorry, some drummers, for instance, don't play jazz or can't play jazz, and, and uh, they feel really insecure about that, let's say. I, I'm not... Uh, I think I'm very good at what I do as far as this, the disturbed sound, but then, when you, again, when you take me out of that element as well, jazz, for instance, or, or any other type of genre of music, that's not something I'm as familiar with and, and I don't think I could do as good of a job. Um, I'm also a little insecure about my speed. I, I don't think I'm as fast as, as some of the other guys out there. Um, but then again, our music doesn't necessarily call for it. I, I, I concentrate more on the power and the rhythmic nature of, of some of the tribal beats that we play. Split right down the middle? That's pretty much it for right now. but. Uh, Seeing how I got some, some goodies in the bag there with some APXs, that may be changing. Well, we'll see. Any favorite models? Uh, right now, we were looking at the, uh, I believe it's the Solid Rock Crash. Solid Crash. Solid Crash. It was a Solid Crash, an 18 and a 20. I'm actually really excited to get them uh, over to the gig tomorrow and put them on the kit and uh, hit them around and see how it all blends in with the rest of everything. And those guitar players that are so loud, those cymbals have ripped their faces off. Can't wait. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> Vengeance is mine. Thank you, Mike. It's great to have you here. Great to be here. Bye bye, everybody.